I was on assignment for the New York Times uh, when I took this photograph, um, and I'd been commissioned to do a story about the um, South Sudanese youth community in, 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 in Melbourne um, earlier in, in the year, and it was about the, um, you know, some of the way they were being represented in the media, so I guess the, um, yeah, so, so this, is, this was a part of a story about uh, the youth there and, and, and how they, they were getting on. It was an obvious choice, you know, when you see a photograph that you're really, um, you know, really proud of and you know will stand well, um, you know, to, to, to be selected. I, I knew that this was a really strong image and, um, you know, it was a photograph that was used by, um, you know, by, by the article when it was published. But, but also the reason why I guess I really love the photograph is because it sort of shows, you know, these kids that were being represented in, in one way um, in the media and, and I feel like this is very sort of soft and, and sensitive image about these kids having a good time and, and just being free and, you know, completely sort of unburdened by all that other talk that was happening at the, at the time. It's a very sensitive time, but, um, you know, I, I've been doing this job for a long time, so I, was, I, I kind of, you know, had a specific kind of approach to reach out to community uh, leaders and elders in the community, but I guess um, I just made it known to them that it was important to be able to tell their story and, and in, you know, it was important to show that there's another side to the community that that wasn't being represented at, at that time. I heard about this wrestling team, you know, um, and I thought it was a really great opportunity to be able to, you know, photograph a bit of sort of Sassanese South culture. Um, but when they mentioned that they're going to the beach and that's where they'd be, you know, training, I thought that it'd be a great opportunity to sort of, you know, photograph them and show them, um, you know, in what is typically a very Australian cliche kind of environment. Um, but, all, you know, but doing something so traditional to South to South Sudan. So yeah, for me, that was a great opportunity and I was keen to take it up and, and yeah, got some great photographs, so I was, I was quite lucky. So the other photograph um, is from the same uh, series and um, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's a very different image. It's a lot quieter, um, you know, but I, once again, I was just very grateful to have the access to be able to visit that family and, and be invited into, into their home to photograph, you know, that, that photograph and, um, I, you know, I just feel like it shows something that you don't see every day, you know, it's a very private moment, um, but it also shows it's a very special moment with those kids and, um, yeah, so I was very happy to be able to, to witness that. You know, I'm passionate about doing Australian stories, you know, um, I'm, that, that's my focus, so, you, I mean, you never know what, what news is going to come up and often the work I do is sort of correlated with, with the news at the time. Um, but yeah, I'm always doing things, you know, in, in regional Australia and in, in it, but also in the cities as well. And so yeah, I guess depends what's going to happen next. I guess, but um, it's a matter of sort of yeah, being open. I've been you know passionate about photojournalism for for over a decade, and um, you know I've been you know in, in regional Australia and in the cities. But it's just a matter of you know I mean this is it's a, yeah I mean in answer to your question I, I'm. Very interested in, in, in news, so I guess there's always a news angle or focus. Um, but you know, news sort of follows what society. It's a reflection on on where society is is at. And um, in this case, this was you know this is a big moment um, for the Sassanese community and, and the way they're being represented. And um, so yeah, that, I guess that's what I'm drawn to is what what people the questions people want to know. And it was a bit of a I guess it was an attempt to show a bit of an insight into that community at the time.